like a double life Rave King with Radiance this early on. Oh, Joachim's going aggressively. He's dead. Yeah, Hex up. He's uh, got baited this time. Moran is kind of able to do that with the with the leaps. And now they... And they see the real peel, but he's very tanky. We spoke about it. Two they have the T1 tower one. as well. They can TP in. They've got to drop everything to bring down the Phantom Land to the Ravage. Still holding at the moment. So CTM, he can get off the double, but that's when Mizu will pull the trigger. He drops the Ravage and brings down CTM. That's his first death of the game, 22 minutes in. Mass TPs. Oh, Joachim again. Just the, the classic support. Saving the life He's of Indra Dream. Are they actually coming they're over dead. on all of Dio? Yurikem, they'll eat the arrow on the Wraith King. Yurikem's still not dead. Now with the Ice Pods to bring down the Sand King. He doesn't have a buyback. Yopaj gonna TP in the outpost, but now with the Helmet. They're controlling up the Templar Assassin, but a quick BKB is gonna allow him to get out of the coil. But now he's not right-clicking anyone with the BKB. Is down to the southern side underneath that T2 tower. Still, the rest of Galaxy Racer can bring down the duo support. As it's a three for one, and now they're gonna be able to take this T2 tower. It's sort of what you have to do when you have a tier in your team already, unfortunately. That's why I said I don't really like the combo. Time on top. Right Going on a tie with Kraken Shell is very difficult to chain lock him down. But can he get back to safety the team? Mizu protected up with the Glimmer Cape. They're still moving forward. Januel with the Earthspack Finger. A death that's not enough. But still Mizu's going to be careful because the illusions along with the Lance will bring him down. That's a very big pick off. And now it looks like the rest of Neon want to try and use it to their advantage. Trying to force his buyback coming through. Yeah, but the coil drop. They're going to be careful how deep they go for the tide. He doesn't want to buyback just yet. He's not forced it out. It's in your dream with the Wraith Fire Blast. They'll lock through the sinking. Now the buyback's going to come into play as Yopash commits on the high game with the BKB. But he's able to get the force start back to safety. It's a TP out. No, Yokem. He's just there. The Warriors punch stops the teleport to safety as Yopage will fall. But can they catch more though? It's in your dreams able to. Can they find CTM? Mizu still got the Ravage. Able to charge it up. Aya. Careful as Radiant smoked up. Enryu's gonna pop the smoke, but he gets the oh, jump. It's deep. It's on in your dream. You now with a stun lock, they might be able to bring him down. They do. The tag team amplification is through the roof, but in your dream, Almost losing this first live glimmer cape with the side blade from Yopaj. Able to find him through the invis. In your dream. He can so be gets a blink wave and the hex puck. Your positioning. Brought down. Yes, he's got a buyback. But now with the rest of the Galaxy Racer have to get back inside the base. As they're going up against the Ages and Cheese advantage that Neon have at the moment. The buyback from Alacrity forced out. But CTM playing around with the illusions inside the base. He's able to get the doppelganger down. No, he's actually well, he's still not on the low ground. CTM is looking at man fire. They've already popped the Ravage and it gets nothing out of the side of your galaxy racers that forge further and further back but now in your dreams gonna jump straight on top of the templar assassin they'll deal with the ages the first life taken care of but round two coming up yeah, surely yeah. as i'll prioritize ctm alacrity doing an incredible job to target the real phantom lancer and the puck is able to secure the kill but they're not done just yet as galaxy racer hunting outside the base the stragglers for neon are in trouble yo pudge stunt up he's got a little bit of help in the back up here of the supports but i say that a Alacrity rips apart the lion and they'll bring down Yopaj as well. Another high ground defense for Galaxy Racer. Mjolnir plus Puck Coil Radiant. plus Radiance. You're gone. Oh, catch out AA. Snowball. Okay, Rating actually snowball. eats the Arab. Beautifully played from Yokam. Now they'll drop the first Ravage. Mizu still has a refresher. It hasn't clipped many heroes, but it's enough to bring down the Sand King. Now the CTM's going to be careful because he's away from the rest of the team. They'll control him with the coil. They'll deal with the illusions next. And CTM, he's going to get brought down here potentially. Mizu, Ravage, he just gets the clip off from the doppelganger. A perfect timing from Mizu. What a secondary use, but this is going to jump in. The Aeon Disc just coming into play. A fresh pickup from Alacrity, and now they baited out Neon to stick in the area. As Yopage, he's still in trouble. He doesn't have a buyback available. He'll pop the BKB and look to turn with the double damage rune, but the damage is getting completely mitigated as the rest of Dyer collapse and bring him down. What was that about? He could have clapped him in the forehead. CTM is going to clap the PL right now in the river. Who have they caught? It's the Ancient Apparition who does have a buyback. It's a good start. CTM still building up the illusions. They've got to be careful if they prioritize the Phantom Lancer. In your dreams, going to blink him forward. This time, he won't play too passively. Oh. It's the crits. Rips apart the Sand King who does not have a buyback to rejoin them. But the Wraith King still has to be careful here as the life is getting drained right in front of his eyes. His Miz is going to counter up. But a quick BKB from Yopage means that the Ravage is not going to control him. And now Wraith 
waiting. And finally dealing out the damage. They've caught up the yeah, Phantom Lance, so they've got to be careful, but the buybacks are coming into play. It's in your dream. Glimmer Cape trying to get back to safety. Now the double ravage oh. from Mizu eclipses all of them with the fall for the backline of Lacrity. He's got the fall damage on the park in our CTM. He's too far away from the Templar Assassin. CTM's going to try and play around with the Illusion Bait, but he will not be successful. A doppelganger down, but they're able to hunt him and bring him down. I can blink. I say got reset. Ages, Go Posh. Well, they'll see him under the trap. <sighs> Lucky Ooh. had refraction there. He's still going to be careful. careful that there, overwhelming buddy. slow is for so long. Henry is going to try and charge up the Epi. He'll find the connection, but so will they with the Ravage. The Sand King will get melted down. And now with the Coil on the back line as well. As Alacrity controlling up the line, the Snowball further inside the base. As Galaxy Racer want to put him in the grave, but they've got to be careful if they line up for a double Earth Spike. Looks it with the first life of the Raid King. He's still got a secondary life thanks to the Aegis. So now he's going to blink on forward. They've got a big numbers advantage knowing that Neon are lacking the buybacks here. CTM, Yopage, along with Shanks now. Have to stall this one out. Yeah. Jump up course, straight away. I'm a native English speaker, I know all the sayings. Oh, I'm... I'm native and I don't know them. So what do you <laughs> try to say? Are you roasting me? <laughs> no, no, no. Roast? Are you sure, Black? I don't know. I would never roast anyone. Oh, in your dream I get... Brought down here. But yeah, he's getting roasted. So difficult. Oh, he's got their own radiance burn to roast down Neon. Oh, so jump in, Ravage Coil, Ice Blast as well. Everything dropped on the heads of Neon. They've got a buyback on the Phantom Lancer, but they've even got a second round of the Ravage if need be, and that's all she wrote. That's the well. GG, Ares, and that's why I'm a TI level analyst. I called it out from the beginning. Welcome Insane. To the <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, you said it was a bit greedy of a draft here from, from Neon, do, and you know, we saw it, I guess, it didn't feel like it was greedy at one stage, though, it felt like they were able to get away with it, but just a couple of misplays through the team fights. <laughs> We'll see how they're able to itemize the help out in this game. Top though with uh, a double stun for the less track and the lion. They're putting a lot of pressure onto Enryu's Dragonite. If he can ring around the Rosie, but I mean, that's all he can really hope for now. Shanks level one Moran is not really going to do too much for the lane. So in your dream, picks up first blood, and this is a another rough start for Enryu through all this burst potential that they've got. Oh, Yoke, great stun. Is the damage going to be there with the Hex fall? They've also got the Split Earth and the damage. Yes, it is. Yokam will drop the finger, tickles down the Ember, and well, that is a big kill to find as now they can even chase forth more. Januel still only level 5, 13 minutes into the game. They can just rely on this Lightning Storm. They're even going to drop the Supernova. And they're like, let's, uh, let's just commit the egg, make sure we get the Enchantress kill. Why not? Fine with the Moonlight Shadow, although they've still got another poof. And now, meanwhile, Enryu, he's going to get brought down. Timber chain forward. Now, with the last track changed up, he's still going to fall as well. So, a lot of time wasted as, I mean, Meepo was trying to commit for CTM. I mean, the poof just wasn't enough damage, unfortunately, for, for Alacrity. They're still hunting, though. Zero spikes there. Miserable will find a double. They're not done. Alacrity. Poof's on our forward here. Still got to be careful. The Roots there controlling up the Ember and Alacrity. But it's going to cost him his life to bring down the Ember Spirit. But where's the rebuttal from Galaxy Racer? As Yokam Mizu, along with Polo Sun, stalking their prey. But unfortunately, they're a little bit too late to find the connection on the Nature's Prophet. They will catch out the Enchantress, however. They've got too much AOA damage from the Shadow Element to do anything for the Enchantress here. Genuine Wolf Fall. And Ryu smoked up. Who can they catch though? Jump in forward. Polo can just drop the supernova with the sun ray. They might not have the damage at the moment. The spirit vessel's out, but CTM are teeping the backline. He'll pop the BKB. Tries to turn and deal with the egg, but they don't have the right clicks at the moment. Now after the dealt with the supports, they can bring it down with the hope of Yopage. Three down, and the hopes of Galaxy Racer for this fight now resulting on potentially the timber. This is able to chain back to safety behind the T2 tower, but it's not far enough as Neon is still stalking. Another jump in and a 
full five man wipe. Stupid amount of damage that the enemy team until BKBs can't really deal with, but on the on, they're gonna try. Speaking about the timber, he's jumped on and with the spirit vessel. And Alacrity's gonna jump the back line and the supports, but Mizu still he's not fully just yet. Pipe along with the Sunray, Mizu is back to a relatively decent amount of health to play with the team fight. They can't kill the supernova as well. As the egg's gonna pop, stunning up the enchantress, but the tapping alacrity here. Meepo still has to be cautious, but he's got the extra life. And Yo Ken with the blink in, he'll sacrifice his life, but it's so worth it with a double stun. As they find the DK Marana, Enchantress will buy back, and they still haven't even used the Aegis yet. Uh, and Alacrity's gonna be careful, actually. He's already committed the blink. Remember, he doesn't have the Aegis, they're just ripping apart the Meepo. Polo tries to dive on forward to protect him. They might have to just ditch the Phoenix here as they will. Actually, Yokem blinks in BKB in your dream. He's gonna run in the middle of the fight. They're trying to burst on CTM. The BKB's already expired here. CTM is taking the full brunt to the force, but in your dream's gonna be careful of yourself now. Greaves up, a little bit extra health. He's able to dodge the arrow. They're gonna buy back on the Meepo. CTM's gonna buy back as well, but Mizu will rip him apart in the tree line. You gotta be careful as that Timber with the Whirling Death can do so much damage, but they're down the numbers advantage. Meepo, he didn't want to pull the trigger on the buyback, and it might cost him this fight. As they'll get at least a DK before he goes to the grave, but that's a full five man wipe. Or I caught Meepo again. Be careful, jump in, Polo. Let's see if the Sunray is going to be enough to be able to keep the life. They even dropped the Supernova on the back line. CTM stunned up, the Aegis in the BKB now, but the rest of Galaxy Racer to have to turn. The Egg finds a connection on all five, and now with the buyback, this could be the fight for Galaxy Racer. A heavy commitment. CTM, he pulled back previously. He's down for 120 seconds now. Is in your dream. We'll deal with Enryu. They've also got another catch. The Brew. They need to lock him down perfectly. And Alacrity should be able to do so. Shiva's remnant. Yopaj is trying to get back out. Alacrity blink up in a couple seconds. Root as well. Can he find it? He cannot. Wait, CTM no mid's gonna be dependent. careful. Still got Aeon and BKB. They're trying to force it out. They even popped the finger of death, but CTM is able to disengage and able to jump in. Alacrity. He's targeting down the Phoenix at the moment, but Alacrity, he's falling really low. He's able to prove back to safety. Now with the Supernova, controlling up Radiant so they can't push on forward to deal with Alacrity, but the Maelstrom, yo, Pod, hunts him down. The recognition that the Meepo is the priority here from Neon, but they're still going to look to buy back, continue on with the fight. As Mizu went in your dream, all this spell damage once the BKBs are expiring, but they haven't controlled up yo, Pod. A massive amount of buy yeah. That's coming into the fray, but now they're controlling up CTM. A flicker, it's not enough. As they're laying the grounds of the split earth, so Enryu can't retreat back to safety with the buyback. Yo, Cam, it drops another round of the finger of death. Pop proof. They jumped on the high gun. Enryu straight on top of the Phoenix. The nullifier is there. Let's see if he can get the egg off. He can't. Now with the buyback available, it's going to take it to the outpost. But Yo Pudge again going to work with the remnants. Mizu's going to be careful. Spur Russell up. He's falling incredibly low as CTM. She's able to rail him down with the right clicks as Mizu will fall. Now it's all up to Alacrity though. A BKB pop. Can they protect the supernova? I don't think they're going to be able to. CTM is attack speed. It's through the roof. They'll deal with the egg. More refreshes and Yo Pudge's remnants again. The Ember. Too much for them to deal with another remnant up to the northern side as they're targeting through CTM. All the pure damage once the BKBs are expiring, they're able to bring them down. They'll buy back on CTM, they'll buy back on Yopage as well. But it's a costly, costly fight as Galaxy Racer gets some big, big kills. Looks like it is him. Oh, in your dreams. Hex up Januel, but Enru, once again, his own rebuttal to the team fight. They're going to jump in. Yopaj needs to deal with the lion. He's able to do so to start the fight. But then is the BKB wasted here from the Ember. It's been so impactful in these team fights. They're going to leap in four. But this time, Galaxy Racer, can they protect the egg? They cannot. And will get brought down. So Tihu is down. Neon, they've got the numbers advantage. You've got to keep in mind, a lot of buybacks have been forced out these previous fights. So Fresh is going to come into play now. It's so Alacrity manning up on the higher ground here. But it's just getting burnt to a crisp as Yopage's Ember again they're unable to deal with him as soon as they get rid of the control on the line Yopage he can jump back left right and center the second life from Alacrity jump in straight on top of the Enchantress bye bye no buyback available a three on three all the cores from either side taking head to head on the high gun of rating straight on top of the Dragonite but the Dragonite he doesn't have a buyback he doesn't have BKB as well to protect him through that first life Ember and CTM have to do it all themselves. You can push so incredibly fast. Yo, Paj again. Target locked straight on top of the line. It's just trying to delay this. 
They've got another crit wave coming through, so they're not going to have to worry about the backdoor protection. They're just putting their bodies on the line to try and force them to hit the heroes instead of the objectives. But Galaxy Racer, it's all about the objectives. It's all about the throne. But can they do it? Supernova, Sunray, they're trying to heal up Alacrity. He's turning. They're going to be able to break him down. Alacrity will fall. No, Byron, but the split earth. Diabolic Deeding. The chain lockdown is in. <laughs> what a game. What a game. What a series. What a performance as Galaxy Racer will take it. 2 to 0, 58 minutes in. Yeah, I did not expect them to take that game after missing their Meepo timing multiple times. But once again, showing their prowess. Like, uh, what, what does it put them in now? 7 1, just dropping a single game. And that was against Army Genius. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, now they're solidly sitting top one.